Health Minister Moses Jabatis has declared that demonstrations near the St. Jude Hospital act as fuel for the government to finally complete the medical facility. Over the past few days, protesters have gathered near the St. Jude Hospital to demonstrate their dissatisfaction with the state of the facility housed at the George Odlam Stadium. Members of the opposition, along with other members of the public, were present at the protest. Jobatis, referring to controversial DSH projects, argues that the Alan Chastney government chose horses over the health of the people. And I live in that area, so I pass every day and I see the placards and I, I see the actors, the, the people who are there um, demonstrating. Um, just to say that some of these very people were in the yellow hats when the horse racing was taking place at the same time when the people were suffering at the stadium. These are the same people who are jumping up for horses, jumping up for horses while the people in the stadium were suffering. So these things make us even more determined to ensure that we continue to work to remove the people from the stadium. Both the UWP and SLP have been accused of politicizing the St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project. Jabati says it's about ensuring that there is a proper functioning medical institution in the South. I do not think that um, the thing about politicizing things, I'm not politicizing it. Uh, what the people want is action. The people want the of the doctors and the, and the patients to be removed from the stadium. The people of St. Lucia voted for that. And I don't, you know, I don't like to call things political or not political. That is for the people to decide. The people will decide. They see who's protesting. They know who's protesting. Um, Representative Chastney and his group, they, they, the people know them. So it is not for me to judge whether it's political or not. Um, I just know that the people who voted for us want us to deliver on the St. Jude Hospital. Some have criticized the government for spending money to repair sections of the stadium and not directing the funds towards the completion of the actual facility. The health minister says the government is working to bring relief to healthcare workers at the stadium while they work on completing the hospital. While we are focused on refurbishing um, complete rehabilitation of the St. Jude Hospital at OJ. We must take care of the basic problems at the stadium, and that's what we are going to do. That is why the Minister for Finance uh, placed $1.5 million in the budget for us to do that, and that is why the Department of Infrastructure has already started work with the, the management of the St. Jude Hospital. Minister Jabatis revealed that the government has engaged contractors to build a new canopy for the east wing of the facility. The St. Jude Hospital reconstruction project has been marred by controversy, with successive governments failing to refurbish the structure since the September 2009 fire. Prime Minister Philip J. Pierre has given assurances that the St. Jude Hospital will be completed during his term in office. Gina Filippi, HTS News Force.